One of the cool things about the guitar is that in addition to being a polyphonic instrument, you can also find the same pitch at multiple locations on the fretboard. So for instance, I have the same note here as I do here, as I do here, as I do here, and here too. And if I fret the low string on the pickup, there too. This is different from, say, a piano where each pitch has one key and that's the only location for that pitch. The cool thing about that is, is you can sort of blend elements of monophonic playing, like a woodwind instrument, with polyphonic playing and get some really unique to stringed instrument type articulations and rhythms going in your music. I draw a lot of inspiration from how other cultures use the guitar and guitar-like instruments, and uh, I like to incorporate that into my writing and my playing. One such piece is this song called I'm Throwing in the Towel, which is on an EP called Death Under Rainbows. And at the time I wrote this, I was listening to a lot of a band called Tanari Wen. Uh, they're from the African Saharan desert, I believe, and they have this really awesome hypnotic sort of desert blues sound. It doesn't get harmonically very complicated, but the guitar playing has a lot of beautiful nuance to it. So I wanted to try to manifest some of that. Let me show you what's going on with this part. On the bottom, I'm just droning on the A string, almost like a bass drum. And I'm playing the melody on top of that. It kind of is built around this A minor 11 shape, with variations branching off of that. I'll play the first part slowly. One, two, three, four. So the cool thing about that part is where I do the slide up, pull off, and then I hit the same note on my open E string as I do on my B string at the fifth fret. Now I could play it twice. I could just pick it twice on the E string, which would sound like this. But it doesn't quite have the same thing and it doesn't land the same way for my fingers. And you get that slight pitch variation that you get when you play the same note in two locations. So all of that together again. The second part starts with the same first phrase and then goes down a little lower I do a similar thing, another set of pull-offs and sliding up to the same note. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. I'll slow that down even a little bit more. One, two, three, four. Again, using these pull-offs to an open string, then fretting that same note that's ringing out on my G string at the fifth fret on the D string, it's sliding up to the root of A minor, which is the key that we're in. It takes a somewhat harmonically pedestrian idea and makes it interesting and snaky and weird. It's really fun for me. And I think it's one of the great qualities of the guitar that it's fun to pursue. Uh, beyond just playing chords and beyond playing single note lines, how can you capitalize on, manipulate, and maximize this the idiosyncrasies of this instrument that we know and love? Check it out. You can find it on my record and hear it in context. Uh, but it's, a, it's fun to play. It's fun to string the whole thing together and, and get the rhythms flowing. So, enjoy. As an extra bonus challenge, one thing that's cool is to take the same part and learn to play it 
with different techniques in your right hand. Now, most of the time these days, I play with my fingers. When I recorded this, I'm pretty sure I was playing it with just the pick. But there's really three options. You can play it just finger style, you can play it in a Travis picking style where you use your fingers and a pick, or just do the pick. Uh, I think it's kind of cool to take the same lines and learn to play it with different picking techniques. One, because you gain dexterity and you're not locked into just one way of playing the guitar. But two, you get the option of different sounds. Certain parts just sound right with my fingernails and certain parts sound right with the pick. Um, so for instance, or if I was going to use Travis style picking. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Obviously, I need to practice a little bit. Some of that was a little hairy, but that's real life. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've gotten something out of it, and it gives you the opportunity to explore some of the nuance of this beautiful instrument that we get to play. If you have any comments, questions, please feel free to email me at hello at danphelps.com, or just comment in the comment section of this video. Thanks a bunch.